Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Uh, I've just lost to this in my last round at Locals. Uh, Marin says, who knew it was still playable in the current format? It's done quite well actually, so I wanted to grab a deck profile. Apologies about any noise in the background. We are at our Locals, where of course everyone is doing their noisy thing. Maybe the last one for a little while, so I thought we'd sneak in a nice physical profile and Caleb here has been good enough to do so. So, any uh, comments before we start? Uh, well, uh, just other than the fact that I was surprised that I was able to beat, you know, the likes of uh, some some of the meta contenders yes. uh, today. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll give you this and hopefully you can try it out for yourselves. And it did, I know before we start, you did mention you're a toad down at the moment, aren't you? Uh, yeah, uh, so it is to mention that I'm still waiting on my other toad to come in the mail. From uh, Jam Jam Cards UK? Okay. Yeah, Jam Jam Cards themselves. Um, they were kind enough to hook me up, so um, be sure to check them out. Um, and yeah, cool. Let's get right. profile. Let's get stuck in, shall we? So apologies, this isn't the best setup today, but uh, hopefully good enough that you can right, see everything fine. Uh, so continue. All right, so uh, Rincess, obviously it's a pretty simple deck. Um, it's, it kind of plays similarly to Salomon Grape yeah. in the sense that it's just very much a grindy sort of control deck yeah. uh, that just keeps rotating the same sort of combo. Uh, so one of the combo starters is obviously Marincess Blue Tang. I'll just pull the English one to the front. Um, so this card is amazing. Um, it's probably one of the best Marincess monsters in the deck without yep. a doubt. Uh, so when it's summoned, uh, either normal or special, you can Foolish Burial any one of your Marincess monsters from your deck to the grave. Yep. Um, what you would normally do is, if you don't already have an extender piece in hand, you will send um, Seahorse. If you have an extender, uh, or if you already have the Seahorse in hand, uh, you can send Mandarin. Sure. Um, and that basically just ensures that you can make your uh, immune link four on on turn one. Yeah. Um, so, uh, also it's to note uh, when she's used for a link summon, uh, she does a Foxy effect. Yeah. Uh, so you Which will reveal... always miss. Oh yeah, always misses. <laughs> Never hit on this. Um, but <laughs> you reveal three and you get to add a Marincess card from among them to your hand. Yep. Uh, so it's a really, really good card. Gives you a bit more card advantage and uh, yeah, it's just pluses all around. Sure. Uh, then we have Seahorse. Yep. This is probably one of the main core combo pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I... It's a free special summon to his own that a um, Marincess monster points to. Yep. Um, and when she's in the grave, uh, you can banish her to summon a water from your hand. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's just basically what you use to facilitate your your main combo, uh, which we can go through at the end if you're, if you're sure, sure. okay with that. Um, and then we're playing two Mandarin. Um, I'm still sort of messing around uh, with Mandarin. Uh, I like having the two, uh, just because it means uh, if someone breaks your board, it means you can uh, summon the blue tang and do the whole combo again. Yeah. Um, so just having it as like an extender is nice. Uh, you want to see it some of the time, but not all the time, which is why it's a um, And then for the other engine, we are of course playing the frog engine, and none other than Swap Frog is the main piece of that part. Card's still super strong. Oh yeah, uh, the fact that none of its effects are once per turn is just absolutely crazy. Yeah. Um, it gives you an additional normal summon. Yeah. Um, it foolish burials your, your frogs to set up for toads. Um, and yeah, it's just an all around great card. And what's its name? This one's in French. Uh, yeah, so this is called Grenwell Demon. Grenwell Demon. So, yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, that's why I bought, bought the yeah. French ones. So, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, it is of note that um, it can be summoned with the effect of Anemone. Yeah. Uh, you may already know this, but um, you can use Anemone to obviously bring this back, and uh, you can end on double toad boards uh, yeah. from time to time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, next part of the swap, frog engine, oh, well, the frog engine is uh, Duke Frog. Yeah. Um, so, uh, obviously, everyone knows what this does, old card now, um, but it's basically just used to fill out your engine. We're only playing the two, um, just because you, you don't really want to open this, it's yeah. not a great card to open, uh, but you need to have enough of them as, as banish fodder for your Ronin journey. Yep. And then of course we have the two Ronins, uh, we only need the two, again you don't want to be drawing it, it's not a great card to draw, uh, but it's what you send off your swap frog and you need to have it in the grave. Yep. If you do draw it, there are plenty of discard outlets in yep. the deck. Um, and especially in the side deck, obviously with 
wind and droplets and, and the like. Yeah. Uh, so you, you can get it out of your hand if it gets stuck there. Yeah. Um, and then moving on to the hand traps, um, you have to play on this format, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so we are playing three Effect Veilers, three Ash Blossoms, two Phantasmes, and we are playing uh, three Imperms as well um, as part of our trap lineup. Yep. Uh, so I find these are just like your staple hand traps. Yeah, the best um, generic ones. The best generic ones, just for all around um, use. Uh, they'll 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 come up against basically every matchup. Yep. Um, Imperms obviously amazing. Uh, the reason we're playing Phantasme, uh, this deck obviously has its has its brick draws yeah. uh, with the Ronins, the Duke Frogs, etc. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like I needed a way of circumventing those brick hands. Yeah. Um, so we're playing two Phantasmes. I was just trying it out. Um, I don't think it ever came up today, um, but it's in any case it's an easy side. Yeah. Uh, and most decks are playing Lynx now at the moment. With yeah. The whole needle fiber oh, no. shenanigans. So sorry about our quick breaks there. We just had a quick announcement just in the middle of the locals. So continuing where you were. Okay. Uh, so we're talking about the Phantasmes. Um, it's just basically a way to circumvent some of your brick draws. Yeah. Um, you want to see your hand traps, especially post board. You want to see your side deck cards. So it's yep. just another way to ensure that um, the deck is a little bit more consistent in yep. that respect. Makes sense. And to be fair, there's no real shortage of Link summons at the moment. Anyway, I oh, think yeah. people are just... Um, I people don't would... think about it, do they? Just no. Um, Phantasma is just one of those cards that seems to have phased out. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously people don't expect it. It gives you target and protection as well, which yeah. is a little bit... Relevant. Uh, relevant. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, moving on to the spells. Uh, there's not many of them in this deck. Yeah. Um, but basically, we've just got the two oceans. Yeah. Um, I was playing one a while ago, uh, back in YCS last year. Yeah. Um, I then quickly realised that when you get Cosmic Cyclone, it's a it's a big oof. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm playing the two just in case that happens. Um, uh, yeah, because basically the the whole deck is centered around the field spell. Mm -hmm. uh, what it does is it will give your Marincess monsters 200 attack plus 600 for every Marincess that's equipped to them. Yeah. And um, if any Marincess in the extra monster zone that was linked summoned using the uh, Crystal Heart, uh, yep. which we'll get to in a moment, um, it will make that monster immune to all card effects yep. uh, while this is on the field. Uh, so it's kind of very much protect the field spell. Field spell is your go -to. And then you end up with like a tower situation, don't you? Yeah. Eventually. Um, a lot of your end boards will end up being like towers, toad, and some back row. Which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, moving on, uh, it's a cyber deck so of course we've got to play Cyanet Mining. Naturally. Yeah. Um, again because it's a it's a discard outlet for your um, for your frog pieces so yeah. it gets those in the grave you can get Mandarin in the grave as well which is pretty nice if you open that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah you just have to play this. And then I'm experimenting with Pot of Avarice at the moment. Yeah. Um, obviously Joe here was on the receiving end of it. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> um, he Nibiru'd me uh, during my combo. I then pot of Avarice and just basically started all over again. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, pot of Avarice has actually been pretty good in this deck. Uh, you do tend to go through a lot of your monsters during a combo. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, I was I was pretty impressed with the card. Um, yeah, we just, it just worked helps. well today. Yeah, it just really helps in the grind game, um, and that's what you need with this deck. Yeah. Um, and then on to the traps, we have two yeah, okay. Marincess Waves. I feel like this is the best card in the deck. Like, it's actually insane. Oh, yeah. Um, no one realizes that Shit. once you activate it, it, make, it makes all your monsters on your field unaffected by all card effects for the yeah. rest of the turn. Um, and that's actually a huge thing. Um, but the fact that it's an imperm that you can activate from hand as well, while you control a link for your hire, yeah. is also just insane. And it gets recycled, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the thing with this is because obviously it's a Marincess card, uh, Coral and Emony and um, so Marble Rock and can both recycle this back to your hand, so, yeah. you so you can just keep looping it and looping it every turn. It's not once per turn either, so you can activate multiple. Um, <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really, really good card. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm tempted to put this up to three, to be honest. Um, it's just been that good. The only reason I don't want to is because it does require you to uh, control a link monster to be able to activate it in the first place. Yeah. Um, which is why I'm still running it at two. Um, but yeah, uh, consider putting this up to three. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't complain if it if it was your choice too. Yeah. Uh, it's a really, really, really good card. Strong card. Uh, next. 
two traps. We've got Lost Wind. Yeah, that's red. Uh, Another card so that just never goes away. It just keeps being there. Yeah, it's just one of those irritating cards that just keeps coming back. Again, like the Marincess Wave. Um, the reason this deck can grind so well is because the traps are so versatile. Um, again, this this is basically like another imperm, essentially, yeah. that permanently halves and negates the attack of the, the monster that it targets. And if they extract summon again, you get to reset this. Yep. Um, so yeah, really, really good card. Um, I did try Titan Asida from... Uh, I can't remember what set it is now. Yeah, it was uh, one of the newer ones. One of the newer sets. Um, not as good as this. Yep. It's, it's, Bit more situational than this card. This card can just be used on any special summon. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and then we have three Paleozoic Dynamiscus. Out to Mystic Mind. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have outed many a Mystic Mind with this card. Um, Mystic Mind does really hurt this deck um, if they if they can resolve it. Um, this is an out to it, um, and it's just really really good removal. What this deck lacks is removal. Yeah. And Having a banish is a really effective piece of removal, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, not much more explaining to do. It also synergizes with the frog engine because it's yeah. a failure. Um, and then finally, we've just got the two trap tricks. Uh, so, as you've noticed already, a lot of the traps in this deck are normal traps. Mm -hmm. Some of the traps in the side deck are also normal traps. Mm -hmm. um, so this card is just really, really good for just searching out what you need when you need it. Yeah. Uh, not much more explaining to do about and that, on that one. Any decision on two over three? Any particular reason for that? Or? Uh, it was more space. I just wanted to try a couple of things out. Keep um, it consistent. Keep it consistent. Um, trap trick can be a funny one sometimes because uh, if you put too many any equips onto your Marincess. Uh, um, you won't be able to activate Trap Trick if there's not enough space in your Spell and Trap Zone. Yeah. Um, you could could well bump this up to three, but to be honest, I think the fact that you just have like a, a rotor for whatever trap card you need is just yeah. nice. Wait, um, serious? I'd rather just play more of the other traps. That's yeah, that, like, that makes sense. For this, yeah, basically. Uh, so yeah, that's the main deck. That was 41 cards. Uh, so moving on to the extra deck. Yeah. Just make sure all in order. Um, it's probably not, but I hope. Uh, so, leading off, we've got the Link Ones. So, we have Sea Angel and two Blue Slugs. Uh, so, these are most of your engine pieces for the combo. Uh, this will be the first one that you would go into. Yeah. Um, and this basically, when it's summoned, it adds back a Marincess monster from your grave to your hand. Yeah. Um, and then locks you into waters, unfortunately, yeah. uh, for the rest of the turn. And then this one, when it's summoned, it basically it allowed a Marincess spell. Uh, the only spell is the field spell. Okay. Um, which is kind of annoying. I really wish they would print some more, you know, good cards for this archetype because yeah. uh, it could really do with it, but in any case, uh, that's basically how you get your field spell. Um, and obviously, all of these are recyclable, so you can keep just um, putting them back yep. and uh, going through the combos. Uh, now, moving on, we've got three Coral Anemone. Uh, again, and it's an integral part of the combo. Um, and this is how you can start to use Swap Frog. Cool. Yeah, because you can, you know, you can activate Swap Frog's effect maybe three or four times in a turn just by using this card. It's pretty insane. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, it's just a really, really good card. Um, also, when it's sent from Field to the Graveyard, so even if it's equipped to one of your um, Marincess guys. Uh, it will add a Marincess back from graveyard to hand. Sure. Uh, so it's one of the ways that you're able to recycle a lot of your uh, engine pieces. Um, I have also uh, considered dropping one of these for Splash Mage, yeah. so that um, you don't lock yourself into a water um, and it means you can make access code plays yeah. more easily. Um, I'm still testing that at the moment, uh, not sure how I like it. Um, being locked into Cyber means you also can't use Swap Frog. Um, yeah. And just like the Frog Engine in general. Um, so yeah, I'm still trying things out, um, but it's all science uh, and experimentation with this sort of, with this sort of deck. Yeah. Um, the other Link 2, 
is obviously the crystal heart. Yep. This is the Motsi that you will need to go into before going into one of your Link 4s ID. Okay. Uh, so crystal heart is the one that you'll go into uh, during your combo to make sure that you get the immunity on your uh, Link 4s ideally. Um, so that's pretty, basically all it's used for. It does have another effect but it's basically pointless. Uh, it's not even really worth your time. Um, so yeah. Uh, then the Link 3s, we've got two marble rocks. Uh, this is another one of the cards that helps recycle your engine pieces. Um, it can stop itself from dying in battle, which is also quite nice. And it's just a massive beat stick, uh, especially when you start equipping more of your more ancestors to yep. it. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. And then finally, onto the Link 4s, we have one, one heart and one great bubble reef. Yep. Going first, this will be the one that you'll want to go into. Uh, this uh, allows you to draw extra cards during each standby phase. So during your opponent's and during yours, you can banish a water monster to draw an additional card. Um, also, whenever a monster is banished, uh, you can, uh, well, this card will gain 600 attack until the end phase, so that includes all your opponent's banish effects. Um, so if your opponent's not careful and this is immune to card effects as well with, your, uh, with the field spell, yeah. um, it's going to make it really hard for your opponent to actually beat over this. Uh, access code is actually not that great against this, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, she also has another effect where she can reborn stuff as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, helps, keep you going. helps keep you going. Um, and then one of the is how you push for game. Um, basically, she uh, during battle uh, in damage step, she can summon one of the equipped monsters that she has to her. Uh, so most of the time, you'll be looking to summon this because it's just the biggest beater. Yeah, uh, and it just helps you push for game. Um, and then also, if she if she does get removed somehow, she'll float down into one of the uh, link three or lowers, uh, which is kind of nice. It's just a sleeve. Um, and then just onto some of the more toolboxy cards. Um, we have the Nightmare Phoenix. Yep. Uh, sometimes you just need to add some stuff. Yep. Um, access code is really easy to make in this deck. Wins like, games as well. Yeah. Uh, and you can win games so quickly with this. Uh, there's not much explaining needed with this. Everyone knows what it does. Yep. Um, but it's just a really, really easy card to make uh, in this deck. So why not play it? Yep. Um, and then two toads. Uh, this should be the second toad. I was just playing this as a placeholder for today. Um, but yeah, no, not much for explaining to the toad. Yeah. Um, it's nice because it just it, toad can also add back your princess pieces um, because it just adds any water um, <clears throat> when it dies, and it's just an omni negate which uh, sets the card what's not that it like. negates. So yeah. what's not to, what's not to like about that? So yeah, um, that's that. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Yeah. Uh, any shout outs before we go? Uh, just a massive shout out to obviously Mark at Mana Screw yep. um, for hosting obviously the only locals event that's around at, yeah, uh, really yeah. at the moment. Uh, although it may may well be the last for a little while. Yeah. Um, and obviously shout outs to Rufio thank and you. to Jam Jam Cards UK for the hookups basically. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Do really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.